Hi, and welcome to another Mostly Mike Show 2-Minute Quickie Review. Also, allow me to introduce the Fookers. Although if you shop Amazon for flat pedals, these Fookers probably need no introduction. I decided to try these pedals in early October of 2019, and now it's about a year and a half later, so I do a little show and tell on the little Fookers' performance. The clock's running, so let's do this. So the big question in everyone's mind is probably, are these Fookers any good after riding with them for a while? I'll include the link in the description, which if you click this link, it helps this channel out a ton if you order anything within a day after clicking, even if you don't buy these Fookers. Thanks so much in advance. There's tons of unboxing videos out there showing these Fookers and their crazy price point. Fooker is clearly copying Raceface Chester pedals down to almost every visible detail, even down to their very similar logo which looks like they just ground the mold to make. These Fookers are selling for about exactly half the price of the Raceface Chesters. I've bought many pairs of the genuine Chesters over the years, almost never having any issues, but when I saw these Fookers, I had to try them out. If nothing else, just to use as a cheap set of spare flats to keep in my van. Hell, I bought losing lottery tickets in this price range, so I figured why not. So they say no news is good news. Well, I put these on my Santa Cruz Tallboy a year and a half ago, and actually forgot about putting these Fookers on. I rode well over 1,500 miles on various trails over Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and West Virginia. They've encountered countless rock gardens, extreme temperatures, dust, and lots of wet, muddy features. I have never lubricated them or really done any maintenance of any kind on these Fookers. I don't recall any noises or incidents to speak of indicating any failures on these Fookers' behalf. While these are the only Fookers I have ever purchased, they really don't seem bad for the money. Although I continue to buy Chesters because morally, it's the right thing to do. Without doing a complete teardown of these Fookers, you can clearly see that they spin freely and make no noise, while cosmetically they are clearly beat up. These Fookers seem to take a lot of abuse and neglect in their 18 month stay on my bike, so I'll just leave them on until something breaks. If anything does fail, I'll be sure to post an update, so subscribe to stay in the loop. Till then, please put any questions or share your Fooker experiences below. Thanks for taking part in this Mostly Mike Show 2 Minute Quickie. Was it good for you?